Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today we're going to talk about how to set up an I squared C bus decode. I squared C decode is a fairly simple and easy setup. So here we have a DPO Demo 2 board with its power supplied by the oscilloscope via our USB cable. It is suggested that we use two of the TPP 500s or the TPP 1000s. We're going to use the 1000s since we are using a 1 GHz scope. You can see we have our two grounds here and our channel 1 probe head on the I squared C clock signal and our channel 2 probe head on the I squared C data signal. From a default setup, we want to turn on our channel 2, position our trigger level near the center of the waveforms, adjust our vertical and horizontal scales, and position our waveforms as needed. We can increase our record length to 1 million for some additional resolution, and select Single Acquisition. Select Bus B1, and we can just move this below the waveforms. Select Bus Type, I squared C. And we can use our Wave Inspector feature to zoom in and pan around. Now we can define our inputs. Our clock input is our probe connected to the I squared C clock signal, which is our channel 1. Our data input is our probe connected to our I squared C data signal, which will be channel 2. We want our thresholds to be somewhere along the center of the waveforms. We can also select whether or not to include the read and write bit in our address. As always, we can edit our labels. We can edit our bus display to display bus or bus and waveforms. We can also display our data in hex or binary. We also have our event table. If we turn that on, we can look at specific data values. And if we have a flash drive, we can save our event table to a file to be used in Excel, MATLAB, etc. Now if we go into our trigger menu and select bus as our trigger type, we can trigger on various bus conditions. And you can see they're all a little different, some allowing us to trigger on specific events or specific address and data values, etc. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more information about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.